cooking drunk back again with yet another tip to beer review. The one I'm going to review just now is a Chinese beer. And it's a lucky uh, lucky beer or lucky Buddha beer, I think it's known. 4.8 on a Richter scale. Brewed and bottled in China. Uh, going to bring your attention to the bottle. You can see it's got the wee smiling face Buddha on it. Turn to the side. It's beautifully crafted. Cut glass uh, bottle. I quite like it. There's the back of it there. Lucky. Lucky beer. I have had this one before. I bought it once before. It's one of those ones that lay in the fridge one summer and you came in and you had a few beers. Back in those days when I was drinking lagers and had a go at them. And opened this when I was kind of suitably refreshed. So I'd, I don't really, couldn't really say what it was like. But anyway, we'll give it another go. I've seen it at the supermarket again. There's the lucky, the lucky uh, Buddha bottle top, the lucky beer. So say 4.8 on a Richter scale. A lot of smoke coming from that actually. Should have brought your attention to that. Not much coming from the bottle. Pour it into my little Stella Artois glass. See what we can come up with. Got a life in it anyway. Excuse me. Very much like all your Orientals uh, beers. A very, very light golden colour. Expecting the rice. Uh, kind of uh, mixture in this. It's quite highly carbonated. It's actually got a... It's actually got a little bit of a uh, skunkiness. Maybe because it's came from the green bottle. It doesn't smell that bad actually. It's got a little bit of, I say, skunkiness. A little bit of the... Uh, Sweet kind of green smell about it. I would say a little bit of honey in there as well, but it's all about the taste. These things are out there to be tried, they're there to be not, or they've to be bought again. So, anyway, so for King Drunk, drinking a lucky beer, lucky Buddha beer, 4.8 at the scale from China, Slanjiva. Well, to be honest with you, it's very, very, I'm not going to say cardboardy taste, but what you're getting from it is the, the grain and the sweet, the sweet sort of honey smell you're getting. It's in the taste, but it's, it's more in your nose, if you know what I mean. It's, it's quite a, it hasn't got the, it hasn't got the, the, the the bite that the bark suggests, if you know what I mean, like so the smell, you're thinking, oh, this could be good. I wasn't really holding out much for it, but it's it's one of those ones, like, so if you come in a hot day, ice cold in the fridge, your wee gimmick bottles, you had a couple of them, you get one out with your mate, sort of thing, you go, oh, that looks rather swanky in the wee, <laughs> in the wee bottle, but... In all honesty, it's, it's alright, maybe around a barbecue or something like that. I'm going to try it out of the bottle. See if it tastes any different. To be honest with you, that's, what, that's all you would be drinking that for, is a gimmick. Uh, Chinese beers. Of, this is my first... Uh, attempt at a Chinese beer. Uh, it's it's nothing special. Actually, it, it's nothing special at all. If you like your Oriental beers, there's better ones out there, like your Singha and your I uh, can't even remember them. Like Tiger and beers like that. They're a lot better. They're kind of foodie beers. This isn't a foodie beer. You, I, I, the only way you would have that is maybe you've got a, a burger on a go at a barbecue. So. It's nothing special, to be honest with you. 4.8 on the Richter scale. All you're buying this for is a novelty factor of the wee Buddha on the bottom, to be honest with you, which is actually cool, and I'm going to keep that. That look cool, actually. Just stick a candle in the winter on top of that. That'll look really, really snazzy. So anyway, 
I'm going to give the Lucky Beer, the Lucky Buddha Beer 4.8 on the Richter scale. Chinese brew, Chinese lager. I'm going to give that a Sofa King drunk rating of kind to it because it's, I have drunk it again so I'm going to give that a 5.1 out of 10. So anyway, if you see it, maybe for the novelty factor of picking up and maybe if you like unusual bottles to collect, that's the only thing it's got going for it. So anyway, if you've had the Lucky Buddha beer, Lucky Beer, Chinese Lucky Beer, for, give us a shout. And if not, so fucking drunk, I'll see you in another beer review. Ciao for now.